Good morning, kids. Borodar Plant. Today we're going to start making our way through a pretty special book. Uh, we're going to be making our way through the Bible, but we're going to be doing it using the Jesus Storybook Bible. Now, lots of you will already have this in your homes. Lots of you may have already heard some of the stories. Here's our copy from our house. Uh, it doesn't have a cover anymore. It's been used, it's been read, it's been reused. It's been well loved and helped us to learn God's story in the Bible. We're gonna look at a different story every single Sunday uh, on here, on one of our videos. Listen to the story together, remember a verse together, and even do a craft together at the end. So you can ask your grown-up, whoever's with you, to go and find your copy of the Jesus Storybook Bible so that you can follow along or just listen in um, to the story being told by me, by Bethan and by Ian. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror to show us what he is like, to help us know him and to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red puppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims. And God put it into words too, and wrote it in a book called the Bible. Now, some people think the Bible is a book of rules, telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. At times, they're downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story. The story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story. And at the centre of the story, there is a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle. The piece that makes all the other pieces fit together. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who one day... This is the child who would one day... This is the child who would one day... No, wait. Our story starts where all good stories start right at the very beginning and we'll get to the next story next Sunday.